Hello friends. Are you ready to learn about one of the coolest things in the world? I'm talking about the brain, that amazing organ inside your head that helps you feel, think and experience the world around you. Let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of neuroscience and brain function. Neuroscience is the study of the brain and how it works. Scientists who study neuroscience use all kinds of cool tools, like microscopes and brain scanners, to learn more about how the brain controls everything from your thoughts to your movements. The brain has lots of different parts, each with its own job to do. The cerebrum, for example, is the biggest part of the brain and is responsible for things like thinking, feeling, and remembering. The cerebellum helps you coordinate your movements, while the brainstem controls things like breathing and heartbeat. Neurons are special cells in the brain that help pass messages around. Imagine them like little messengers, running around the brain and telling different parts of the body what to do. Scientists think that there might be as many as 100 billion neurons in the brain. The brain is really amazing because it can change and adapt over time. This is called brain plasticity, and it means that even if you have a brain injury or something else that affects your brain, you can still learn new things and recover over time. When you go to sleep, your brain doesn't just turn off, it actually starts doing something really cool called producing brain waves. Scientists can use special machines to measure these brain waves and see what's happening inside your head while you're asleep. Your brain is responsible for all kinds of emotions, from happiness to sadness to anger. Different parts of the brain control different emotions, and sometimes it can be hard to control how we feel, but that's okay, because it's all a part of being human. Your brain also helps you process all the information you get from your senses, like what you see, hear, taste, and touch. It's pretty amazing that your brain can take all these different signals and turn them into a cohesive experience of the world. Have you ever had your knee tapped by a doctor and had your leg jerk involuntarily? That's called a reflex, and it happens because your brain is wired to automatically respond to certain kinds of stimuli. Your brain is like a big filing cabinet, storing all kinds of memories from your life. Sometimes it can be hard to remember things, but that's okay, because your brain is still learning and growing all the time. Your brain needs sleep to function properly. When you're sleeping, your brain is busy sorting through all the information you've taken in during the day, and getting ready for the next day's adventures. Your brain is really good at paying attention to things, but sometimes, it can be hard to focus. That's okay, because everyone has trouble with attention sometimes. Your brain is a learning machine. Every time you try something new or learn a new skill, your brain is working hard to make new connections and pathways. Everyone is smart in their own way, and your brain has a lot to do with how smart you are. But being smart isn't just about knowing a lot of facts, it's also about being creative, kind, and curious. Sometimes, people can have injuries or illnesses that affect their brain. But even if someone's brain isn't working quite right, it doesn't mean they can't still be happy and lead a fulfilling life. There are lots of ways to help people with brain injuries or illnesses and scientists are always working on new treatments and therapies. Now that you know a bit more about the brain and how it works, let's talk about how scientists study this incredible organ. One way scientists study the brain is by looking at it through a microscope. They can study brain cells called neurons and see how they connect to each other to form networks in the brain. Another way scientists study the brain is by using special machines called brain scanners. These machines can take pictures of the brain and show us which parts of the brain are active when we're doing different things, like thinking, feeling, or moving. Scientists can also do experiments on the brain to learn more about how it works. For example, they might give people a task to do while scanning their brain, to see which parts of the brain are working hardest during that task. Some scientists study the brains of animals to learn more about how the human brain works. This can help us understand things like how we learn, remember, and process information. Some researchers study the brain by having people play games or do puzzles that are designed to challenge different parts of the brain. By seeing how people's brains respond to these challenges, we can learn more about how the brain works. Scientists also study the genetics of the brain, that is, the genes that control how the brain grows and develops. By understanding these genes, we can learn more about how the brain works and how we might be able to treat brain disorders. Some scientists use computers to simulate how the brain works. They create models of the brain and run simulations to see how the brain might respond to different stimuli. 
Scientists can also study the brain by using imaging techniques like functional MRI and PET scans. These techniques allow us to see which parts of the brain are active during different activities, like listening to music or solving a math problem. Some researchers use techniques like transcranial magnetic stimulation TMS, to stimulate different parts of the brain and see how it affects our behavior or abilities. In some cases, scientists study the brain by examining samples of brain tissue. This can help us understand things like how the brain changes as we age, or how certain diseases affect the brain. Finally, one of the most important ways that scientists study the brain is by working together and sharing their findings. By collaborating with each other, researchers can pool their knowledge and resources to make new discoveries and solve some of the brain's biggest mysteries. The brain is an amazing, mysterious, and wonderful thing. There is still so much we don't know about it, but scientists are working hard every day to unlock its secrets. So never stop learning and exploring, who knows what amazing discoveries you might make about the brain someday. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe buttons and the notification bell so you can join the Simplify Squad.